G'day guys, Steve Morgan here for Fishing Monthly Magazines, testing what we love testing, and that's a CJ boat. And I'm here with Gary Fitzgerald, who's the National Sales Manager of CJ. And Gary, you're a bit of an expert on all CJ hulls. We recently tested uh, a 460 Ranger, and it was a really popular test, both with the viewers and with people that are you know, searching for CJs. This boat here, this is the 460 Vision. It's, a, uh, it's like an upgraded Ranger, isn't it? Uh, tell us about the hull. We did the, the, the previous version, the Ranger, on this new 460 Samurai hull, and this is the next generation of that. We've done the, the, the big centre console in our Vision. So we've had the Vision model out in the marketplace for some time, a few years now, and but this is a, a new size for us. And, and look, we're, Steve, we're really excited about this one. This is our, um, like I said, it's built on our Samurai hull. We get a four mil bottom, our three mil sides, our big reverse chines, that beautiful big swept bow, and that cap keel and have a look at the, um, uh, the big centre console in this. Now, the configuration we've got here doesn't have the T-top, which our visions are famous for. You can add that to this one, so you can do that fold down, still get it in the garage, and it's a, it's a really big console, all those electronics that you're ever gonna want, and uh, a little bit of cover to get in behind. Now it seems that, that that sort of swept bow is a real CJ, it's a real CJ thing now. I, I see that shape and I think CJ at the moment. Popular with uh, with purchases? Yeah, look, uh, a greater internal volume, you know, helps keep water out as well. And it's a, it's look, it's a really good look. Um, and that allows us to do some certain things with the design work uh, to, so we can get a nice sharp entry and we can flatten out to about that 16 degrees at the transom to give that really good stability at rest. Well we're going to have an opportunity to, uh, to, give that, uh, to give the rough riding capabilities of this because finally for a CJ test we've got a nasty sort of day out here. Now to me this CJ boat with the big esky seat it's, it's set up as a real, a real fisherman's boat, a real weekender. It seems like all the down to earth fishers are going to love this sort of design aren't they? Yeah, look, it's a, it's a proven design for us. It's really popular in the marketplace. Uh, we took some feedback on board saying, look, you, you know, we'd love to see a smaller version and, and here it is. Yep, designed around, um, you know, the, the blood and guts fishos uh, to get out there, a no-nonsense boat. Uh, massive internal volume so you can get all the gear in that you want. If you want to put more ice boxes in, all your camping gear, whatever you want, there's plenty of room in that 2300 wide um, body configuration. Now, this thing's sitting on a single axle trailer, but it's an impressive aluminium trailer. Um, CJ, I'm always impressed by the fact that if you buy a CJ trailer with a CJ boat, you extend the warranty. Is that the case with this trailer? And tell us about this good looking uh, cradle it's sitting on. Yeah, look, um, you can't always control what what trailer goes underneath the boat. Example, if someone puts a, um, a little, little boat, um, put wobble roller trailer under it and they tow it up the Gibb River Road or they go up the telegraph track, you know, if they didn't the hull, who's the first one they blame, even though they put two tonnes worth of camping gear in the boat. So what we've done, we've said, right, look, we will put, if you put a CJ boat on the trailer that's our design, we know it's going to handle it, so we're happy to extend that warranty. That's why we did it. Now we've got a couple of different varieties. We've got a C-section galvanised steel trailer. Today we've put this one on an I-beam alloy uh, configuration. Um, this one here, uh, it's, it's fully welded cross members, so not bolted. Um, it's, but it's built by Dumbia, who also do Mackay trailers, and they've, they've got a long history of building uh, these style of trailers. So that's why we get them to, to roll them chassis for us to our design specs. And um, look, it, it really is a, a bulletproof trailer. Yeah, and look, it's something that a lot of people that buy a boat don't put enough thought into the trailer because because, as you say, a poor trailer can wreck a great boat. It's a great looking boat, it's a great looking trailer, and it's powered by Yamaha's new F75. I've got Will Lee from Yamaha here to tell us all about it. Now, Will Lee, you're a big fan of Yamahas, you work for Yamahas, and you were there when they released this new F75, and it filled a real gap in the market for Yamaha, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're really excited about this engine, Steve. It's our new 75 horsepower four-stroke. You know, we've never had such a comprehensive lineup of four-stroke engines, and it puts us in great stead for the future. It really does. Now, tell us the difference between the hyper-popular F70, which is a small, I think it's a one-litre displacement motor, and the 75. There's only five more horsepower, but it's a bigger capacity motor and tell us about the implications of that. Yeah, it definitely is a different engine to our F70. Uh, you know, I, I don't believe it's going to take anything away from the F70 sales. It's still one of our most popular engines in the lineup. But you know, this is going to be very, very popular with, with you know, fishermen, with family boaties all around Australia. It's a 1.8 litre engine. It's an inline four. It runs a single overhead camshaft. Uh, 
while it's you know a big 1.8 litre engine, it's also compact and lightweight in design. Now how do we achieve that? We use our exclusive YDC30 aluminium alloy and uh, not only does that give you good lightweight properties, but it also means if you're, you, you know, you're putting the engine through some punishment in a salt water environment, you're never going to have any dramas with corrosion. So uh, you know, you're going to get good long jeopardy out of that engine, you really are. Well, we love punishing motors and it's a good day for doing it today, so we're going to get this thing on the water. They say there is no replacement for displacement. Let's go and see how she goes. Sounds good to me. So what a great day to do some actual boat testing today. The CJ curse has been lifted because every time we've done CJ test it seems to be dead flat on Moreton Bay but 15 or 20 from the southeast replicates the worst sort of conditions you'd be taking out this uh, 460 vision in. Um, initial impressions are very beamy boat for its length like this is 2.3 metres wide and 4.6 metres long so it's literally twice as long as it is wide and you can feel that beam in the stability. Um, normally the trade-off though of a beamy boat is that it uh, is that it's you know doesn't ride well in the sea generally the narrower and the deeper V they are the better they ride but the less stable they are go to a beamy boat and it becomes very stable at rest but doesn't ride very well now CJ with their uh, samurai hull design have uh, they've attacked this it's got quite a quite a steep entry and it then it the dead rise flattens out to 16 degrees at the transom and we had that in some reasonably rough water at the front here as you can see in the cutaways um, you can drive it so that it lands soft. Um, you can also drive it so that it lands as hard as you like, and you can do that in any aluminium boat. Um, from a performance point of view, uh, this is running this new Yamaha F75. The best, the sweet spot for it was at 4,000 RPM where it uh, did 40 kilometres an hour, and you got 3.3 kilometres for every litre burn. Now that's great for a 1.8 litre engine, and those figures, uh, they rival that for the, uh, for the Yamaha F70, which is the stalwart in that class. So a big thumbs up for that new platform Yamaha. Top speed was 63.5 kilometres an hour and that was at 5900 RPM spinning Yamaha's 15 inch GP alloy aluminium propeller. Um, from a fishing point of view, this is a serious fishing boat. The serious fishers are going to love this big wide console. They're going to love the fact that they've always got something to grab onto uh, when they're out on the water. And if you want a, uh, a Minn Kota at the front, even though it's got the big upswept bow of that samurai hull, they can be built with a gap in the rails and you can put, uh, I would prefer a 60 inch, but apparently you can get away with a 54 inch shaft Minn Kota on the front there. Um, their fully carpeted casting decks gives you a bit of uh, height at the front if you want to target fish uh, casting, but that depth and that, those high gunnels at the back uh, also make it a great offshore fishing boat. Um, all in all, uh, these CJ boats, they're built to last, they're built in Queensland, they're built using local labour and the guys that run CJ are very proud of their work. So you can be assured if you buy a CJ boat, you're going to get looked after, especially if it's on one of those great looking CJ uh, aluminium trailers. Uh, for more information, you can go to cjboats.com.au or you can like on Facebook, CJ Boats. Packages like this start from in the low 30s, as tested here, 37,570 gets you on the water, driving away and going fishing. So until next time, this is Steve Morgan checking out Fishing Monthly Magazines.